Pretty solid basic set from Maru. Um, Oboro O. Oboro O and Renry is kind of a gimmick, but it works. I think. Kind of makes your, your bluffs less predictable. Okay, so we're going for interesting. Interesting. Oboro mirrors. Okay, it looks like both sides are going to Oboro each other. Um, I don't know about vines. I don't think it's uh, or Mikazura. I don't think it's that that useful here. But you might get like one life with it, or no, probably not more than one life with it. One life for zero flare. That's just red bullet, so that's fine, I guess. Sims good for pulling away dance. That's fine because it's short range. Light return at nine stage. Press space to reset your view in OB Square. Do it third person. Up, down. Yeah. Okay, focusing hard. Understanding the uh, lower cost of the specials makes sense. The ranges of attack in this matchup also make Sense. There's no real threats, no reason to advance quickly. You may as well just take time and focus. Because you're not going to get punished at the range. I don't know if there's any reason to get rid of all of your... Oh, is he actually going to make an attack this turn? Probably save glancing strike for first attack at your regional. Save two cards then, because you can see you save. Well, either way, it's fine, probably. So Perpetual Wind might be better than because we're in this situation. You could use it to create two shadow and then play out your sunny stage without diminishing your aura. Ikazura is only going to create no shadow. It's going to just give you a flare.
Yeah. Can't induce it because aura is full. Um. Tell you what I would do. Yeah, let's see. You can't play the terminal enhancement because Maru Simp didn't ring Perpetual Wind, right? Yeah, he has um, Eternal Flower, Immortal Flower, Eternal Migrant, and Ikazura. So what I would do here was be discard the enhancement to move forward, play the Glancing Strike, hold the two Vigor for your polite return, and also hold the Song and Dance. That lets you dodge basically every attack they have to throw at you next turn. And I think that's the most efficient way to do this. Don't you always song and dance? Uh, that works as well if you don't see yourself playing song and dance during their turn. So that's also a nice play. That's... A bit more questionable. Right, because now you've deactivated your... Oh, are we going to Migrant here? And then throw out Sony Stage afterwards? In Migrant and play Steel Strings off the top? Yeah, that feels like a wasted Migrant. It's not hitting life. Yeah, and you don't have and to just don't... particularly strong follow-up. Maybe he's going to... That would be really aggressive, throwing out uh, a polite return and seeing if they take it to Aura, and if they do, you throw out a Migrant. Playing out the sunny stage here seems suicidal. <laughs> Terminal, and then you set yourself at one Aura, your opponent's going to have I... it, probably at least two attacks next turn, if you're lucky. If you threw up Migrant first, then you could Sunny Stage, but even then, it, it's, yeah, not a very good Migrant. Ooh. Oh. He could just... Oh. Oh. Ending at zero. Okay, now, we know the Art of Drawing hits here from our perspective, but oh, Jay he's going has for to it. assume that he's holding Song and Dance, right? I mean, right? Imagine if he was holding Song and Dance, or if he was sitting at two Vigor. Oof. Like, this is the perfect setup, zero Vigor, Song and Dance. Jay goes for it anyways, gets the nice three life damage. Oof. I, I don't know, maybe something was given away in voice chat, but... Yeah, I guess. And it's very yeah. hard to come back now. You never want to see Art of Drawing hit live, especially this early, but yeah, no, that's, that's a, yeah, you don't have a really good comeback as a, as Tokyo. <laughs> it's just... At least you have the shadow now. What's the hope for here? You hit the steel strings, then you redraw steel string by Grant or something. You're almost even. Alright, top deck glancing strike. That's how you win these games. Yeah, one bigger, unfortunate. Keeping Sunny Sage versus. That gets dodged. And there he goes, your only source of life damage. Yeah, that's a game is looking pretty over already. I don't like saying it, but I, I think that may be the case.
If you advance forward and just play the Caltrops, you could get one life damage out of that. If you advance forward and play the Caltrops, you're going to eat your opponent's Caltrops when they reshuffle. But like, you don't right. know that. Did Mari take Perpetual Wind? No, he no. took uh, Eternal Migrant, Immortal Flower, and Nikazara. Advances forward. Jay okay. is bringing Caltrops, is he? Yeah, he is. Got no. Caltrops and Steel Strings. So. Was Steel Strings played, though? Set up the... I think so. It was discarded with the throughout. Saddest polite return at range 2 to the Which, Caltrops reshuffle. Yep, getting straight up discarded. Nope, showing off cards, but that's okay. There's probably no way of... Yeah, and you have to take this to life, right? Very unlikely that they brought Rusher Blade, so you can't afford to take another Art of Drawing after that. Or whatever other nasty stuff Yuri is going to throw at you. Uh, did Maru take the damage? Oof. I mean, that's I fine. guess that's fine here. No it's just that right. was that was gamble. Well, then again, you have you have uh, Immortal Flower online, so you can come forward and take some chances here. One, two, life slam that down. Play the cow trumps. Another one, two, life, or just save it. I mean, at this point, Jay can just uh, spend his turns focusing and just focusing and focusing and focusing. It's <laughs> probably win the game. As long as he's also maintaining aura. But. So, what's left to push life damage in this reshuffle? Your only attack. Available is steel strings. Yeah, steel strings and got cow traps in the discard. And migrant. Is he gonna migrant? Because they're off first, that's one damage. If they take it to aura, you can migrant steel strings for two life. Takes it to right, life. Jade takes it to life and takes away the shadow. You can migrant steel strings and caltrops this turn, but no, you can't because of the range. Never mind, I'm dumb. Relic blocking from J. Now you can't deal any more damage. Uh, is it worth discarding steel strings for the trap here, or is it better just to get the aura damage in? You have shadow to recover and do whatever. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter what you do. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to reshuffle the four life, and then you're in target crush range.
Just place the steel strings. Oh, is he thinking of using... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Underfinder and Omni, okay. You buy all your aura. Yes, you, you can rebuild back to two pretty easily. And the overall pops during Jay's turn for one more aura. Mm, true. If you recover twice, you're stuck at one aura. They would have been better off holding onto his flare and crushing him, but. And Jay knows that there's a very good chance Immortal Flower is being held. Yeah, true. So Jay is choosing to spend the, his flare on the two reactions instead, which both get past Immortal Flower. Does mean now you can use Immortal Flower on a normal. Oh, okay. We're going to do this it's right now. Dang I it. really want that low life buff. Oh, wild swings and a plate pile. I guess he could immediately reshuffle, but he doesn't have any traps set up. So that feels bad. No traps coming in tomorrow. He opt not to play steel strings? Or did you just forget that you could play traps? He already played it. Oh, he played it it's face up. Point. You're right. Yeah. One more end of flinch. Does Jay top deck Art of Drawing? There's the Art of Drawing. It's gonna slam the Art of Drawing. It's a 3 2, but that's still very good. Another 2 life damage. Yeah, no. Maru, Maru just played very recklessly this entire game. Probably your best target for Immortal Flower. As good as you're gonna get, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wild Swing is uh, no reactions anyway. So. All right, Jay gets Wild Swing active in the next reshuffle, which he might take early. Sunny stage is pretty good here, but not good enough. Uh, I think you play it, yeah. You may as well. Either way, it's still worth one vigor by itself. With no other synergies. In this way, if Jay decides to back up to hit you, he has to contend with taking that life damage himself, but probably just getting deleted. Distance. Or Jay just plays Art of Drawing again. Oh, it goes for a Sikikake. 
What's the number on that flare? Six. Six. One more and you crashed. One more and you die. Yeah. Yeah, that's guaranteed lethal, right? What? Brandish has... I passed this to your... Oh, that was a discard to back up. Yeah, now we're discarding to focus. Yeah, yeah Brandish is 3-2. Yeah, that's super lethal. Yeah, no way of stopping that. Once you're behind us, Tokoyo, you just kind of lose the game there. Oh, that was a rough one. Yeah.